They are so cute with their little shoes. <laughs> Tarantula Keeper's biggest lie is when they tell you Ah! Don't worry, I have enough spiders! And this was basically me because I was tempted to get 8 slings and the Keeper sent me another Tarantula as a freebie. I was not aware what kind of species this was, I was just aware that this will be a male. And lucky for me, this male is just what I needed, but more on that in the video. So, a package arrived today with 8 slings that I'm really happy to get and a surprise spider. I'm wondering what's inside, I just removed the contact information because, yeah, obvious reasons. So, let's check if everything arrived and is well, so, yeah. Okay, okay I hope that this surprise spider isn't on the loose here. Oh well, and here inside is the box we are interested. More aluminum foil and here is the styrofoam box. Okay, let's check what's inside. And I hope that there is no spider that will jump towards us. Probably not the ideal packaging. Let's check if there is no big spider on the loose okay. the names on those spiders are incorrect because those spiders are a different species okay we have eight small vials here and we will check that later because um, i need to prepare the small enclosures for those i'm a bit afraid that if i open them and because they are very well covered in this tissue that they will run away and I won't be able to catch them because they are a bit faster they can be jumpy so let's check the spider that we got as a freebie here okay there's definitely a spider here black legs okay I have a guess what this is I'm guessing that this is a chromatopelma a male but I'm not sure. If that is the case, then this would be my lucky day because I have a female. Okay, let's check what's inside this sling vial. No, this is not a male chromatopelma. But this is a male Davus Pentaloris. Okay, quick break here. After I found out that the male that I got was a Davus Pentaloris, I contacted the keeper so he could confirm that to me. And he told me that he sent me a male Davus Fasciatum. And this got me worried because I have a female Davus Pentaloris. So the breeding plants that came into my mind were suddenly collapsing. So I was searching on the internet and found out something amazing and interesting. It looks like the Davus fasciatum and Davus pentaloris are very often mislabeled. The Davus fasciatum is very rare in the hobby. They have a black carapace and the Davus pentaloris have a reddish metallic carapace. I even contacted a very well-known Polish breeder, Mariusz Arendt, and he basically confirmed that to me. So, with this interesting fact, we will get back to the video. Which I believe is also something that we could use, because I have a female. So, yeah, but he looks... Oh no, he's moving. He's alright. But he still is a little bit sick from, from the journey. So, let's just give him a little push. I know that they can be quite fast, so there. So the next, one of the next episodes, you know what we will try. <laughs> He's still a bit shaken from the, from the journey, I would say. So yeah, next episode, <laughs> we'll probably give it a try. Because why not? Oh, there it goes.
So I was wrong about the Chromatopelma, but still this is a nice surprise and I can absolutely use him. So let's get to the star of this episode, although the male there is absolutely fantastic and I really hope that I will be able to pair him with my female Davus Pentaloris. But the star of this episode are eight slings of the species Avicularia metallica white hair. So let's check if those spiders are alive. Oh, this is quite tough. Let's be gentle here. So here is the first one. Oh, yeah, he's alive. Look at this little guy. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> There's your new home. There, there. Avicularis are amazing. So gentle. They can jump. They can be quite fast. They are absolutely stunning. Aren't they cute? especially when they walk just like with the caribena they are making this this strut this is very funny when they are checking what's in front of them let's get to the second one and he also seems fine hi my friend how are you doing <laughs> he's already active <laughs> they are so cute with their little shoes <laughs> they really look like they have some kind of socks or shoes at the end really nice okay there's your new home oh They always want to go up. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. You need to be gentle here. Come on. There's a new home. He's already starting to spin the web. Okay. Little fella, here's your new home. You have everything you need. <laughs> He's so cute. He's alive. <laughs> He's wondering what's going on. Hi, little friend. Come on, friend. Whoop, that's weird. Looks like he can't move on the surface. This one is a little bit weak after the after the journey. But I believe that if he will drink a bit of water everything will be fine. There. You have water there. Oh this doesn't look good for this guy. I hope he will drink a bit of water and he will be all right. We need to check on him more often. I'll set him aside. Oh, this one is more active. <laughs> there he goes. There he is. Hi. Go on, there is water, there is a place to hide. No. Why not? Go inside. There. He seems to be a bit confused. There he is. Oh, this one is definitely more active. 
<laughs> Where are you running away? <laughs> do, 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 do. Go there. There. Yeah, he's alright. A bit smaller, but alright. Oh, he already jumped inside. Drop them. As you can see, we got some really nice additions to this collection here and the Davos Pentaloris was really a nice surprise and we even learned something along the way about the Davos Pentaloris and Davos Fasciatum. Sadly one of the slings passed, it was too weak, I tried to reanimate it but no, sadly it passed. So we have seven Avicularia Metallica white hair and one male Davos Pentaloris. Also something new to me, I was trying to live stream something this week and this was really a weird, awesome experience because the first minutes there was stage fright and after that it just faded away and I was chatting with you all and it was really something wonderful and I will repeat that because it's amazing. Also what happened to my collection, something not really nice. One of my Hilobrachis Electric Blue, although those are not Hilobrachis Electric Blue anymore, but I can't remember the name, I will just post it somewhere here, is struggling with DKS. I am trying to reanimate the spider, I am giving it water, I am trying to feed it, it's kept warm, and I hope that he will make it, or she, I am she. I hope that she will make it. I will keep you updated what's going on because after that I can confirm you if some methods of treating your tarantulas with DKS work or not. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Tarantohala out.